your girl queen pink you already know what it is boom i'm back with another video you feel me so y'all today we is about to do this hot and spicy noodle challenge let's do a thumbnail <laughs> um so y'all i've been having these hot and spicy noodles for a minute you feel me like i have bought these like a couple of weeks ago for real for real and so, y'all, I'm about to do this high spicy noodle challenge, you feel me? So, they have a chili sauce packed inside. This is with shrimp. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to go cook this up. And y'all is about to see me eat these spicy noodles. Um, I don't really like hot and spicy stuff. I like hot and spicy stuff, but I don't like it spicy spicy. You feel me? Like, <laughs> nah. Okay. Let's go. Y'all, it is fucking freezing here in Texas. It is, y'all know, it's getting fall. You know, it's cold, y'all. It is freaking cold. Okay, so I got my noodles done. I'm about to add in my sauce pack. Okay, I don't even know where's the shrimp at. They have sh okay, they little baby shrimps. Y'all, I got my chili sauce. It don't smell too bad. I mean, it don't smell bad, but it don't smell like like it's chili chili. Like it's hot or something. Okay. Gonna mix this up. Y'all, this don't even smell like it's like hot. Cause you know some noodles be smelling like they just like hot. These don't really smell like they hot. Let me taste. I smell lime. Do I need to eat more of this? Cause nigga, I don't know if I got the right or wrong one, but this shit ain't chilly or hot. But I'm finished eating. <laughs> It's really not. Like, this stuff is not hot or spicy. Maybe I need to eat more of it. But it is not hot and spicy. I don't know what they be eating. Or if they be adding some spices to it. But this, I don't know. Maybe I need to eat more of it. But there is no hot, spicy in this. Mm-mm. I got my water. Hold on, y'all. I got my water. I was gonna give me some Coke, but um, Coca Cola. But I thought this was gonna be like freaking hot because acid and then hotness does not go together with me. And then I'm gonna get some milk because they say milk helps if you hot have hot something. Um. I taste a little bit of the spiciness, but it is not hot or spicy. They good as fuck. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap about that. These good as a bitch, but they ain't spicy, spicy hot. Mm. But anyway, so we gonna eat these noodles. I guess it's a mukbang. I don't know what karma. You're not getting this. Go eat your own food. Um. We're going to talk about time traveling. <laughs> time traveling. I know, right? Cliche. But, I mean, I was thinking, I was just sitting here because I was watching Colors, that movie with Sean Penn and, um, what's his name? Robert Duvall. Who else was in there? Um, oh my God, I forgot his name, but the fine black guy, I forgot his name. Um, Don Cheeto, <laughs> Don Cheeto was in there. Um, but yeah, um, 
I was just watching that movie Colors and I was just thinking like time traveling like what if we can time travel time travel like way back like I was thinking like man I would want to time travel like way way back in the day but then I was like fuck that shit I don't want to see slavery time like hell nah bitch but I would like to see like maybe the ending kind of slavery I don't know when it was the ending time of slavery you know Hey, I wasn't really good in, in history. <laughs> but, like, from the 60s until the 80s, I would want to time travel because I was born in the 90s. So, I kind of, maybe, like, okay, from, like, the 60s until, like, maybe until 90, 1990, because I was probably nine around that time. I would probably say... Okay, I'll say, because I was born in the 90s, so I had to grow up in the 90s. So, I would say from the 60s until 2000, I would want to time travel and see. And just walk through the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, you know. I think that shit would be really fun to do. Like, we don't even have to interact with nobody. Just... You ever seen, like, I don't know. You ever seen that movie, um, The Bone, Bones or whatever? Bone, Lovely Bones, where that man killed that girl and she, like, comes back. And she's, like, running in the mist of the night. And, like, she see her dad and she calls her dad, but her dad don't hear her. That type of traveling, you know, but not in that sad way. But in a way where you just walking through and you just see people just doing what they're doing. You know, but you can't talk or interact with them. You can just, you know, like, walk through. What is that? Okay, so you said, y'all seen that movie Deja Vu? That's what I'm talking about. Like, when you go back, did he go back or something? And just, like, kind of see. I don't know. But y'all understand what I say when I say time travel. And you just go through the day. Even if you, I don't even know if I would want to interact with people back then. But I probably would just want to walk through and just see how the 60s and 70s and 80s was. Even though we've seen it on TV, I would like to actually be there. You feel me? Y'all, this is some bull. Because I really thought this was going to be some hot and spicy shit. Like, you can taste the spiciness, but it's not hot at all. The only hotness is that it came out the damn microwave and that's why it's hot. Other than that, did they mean that? Did they mean coming out the microwave hot? <laughs> or did they mean like hot Cheetos, like flaming hot Dorito hot? Because it ain't taste like that. But you do taste a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick. But baby, it, it ain't all that. But anyway, I would love to time travel and just go back and see. You know? Just see how they was living. You feel me? Like, how you was living in the 60s and the 70s. So, you be watching all these old-ass movies like Crocklin. I don't know if y'all remember Crocklin, where they lived in uh, up in New York. And she went to stay with her cousin for the summer and all this. And she had, like, five brothers. If y'all don't know that movie, y'all need to research and look that movie up and watch it. I love that movie. I can watch that movie all the time, Crocklin. She's so annoying. She was supposed to be outside all day, but she's lucky it's cold outside. Cause she likes to mess up my damn house. You lucky it's cold outside. But anyway, so yeah. It's good though. I wish the shrimp was bigger. But, I don't know. I just like to see how it was. I mean, you see in movies how it was, how they was dressing, how they was acting. But I would just like to just 
um just go back and see you know i think that would be fun mm -hmm. what y'all think do y'all think they will invent something like that in the future like i think they would they invent everything else flying cars and shit flying um cars they talking about men flying cars and speeding trains that would get you to your destination in like 0 0.2 seconds like okay what else are they making like flying um cars did i say that i did say flying cars so why not make a time traveling machine where you can just go back in time if you want to go back in time like get in like one of those space shuttle looking things Close the door and just be like, boop. And then you like back in time, but then you have to make sure you come back in present time. <laughs> I would just like to see how my mama and my family lived before I was born. Well, it's really, yeah, my, my mama and my grandma, even though they passed away, but I would like to see how my parents lived before they had me i would like to see how they was when they was growing up you know i would like to see that i would just like to just sit at the tv or sit at the table you know you can't interact with nobody they can't see you or nothing but you could see them and just sit and just be like you know this is how my mama was living oh look at all of them this is how my daddy was living look at my grandma this is how my grandma was living oh living in a shack <laughs> Living in a damn shack with a toilet in the backyard. <laughs> I would just love to see it. Like, to see them grow up. You know what I'm saying? From, like, the time they got pushed out until... I would probably even like to see my grandma's mom and dad. But that means I would have to go back to slavery times. And I was like, I did not want to go back to slavery times. But I would really like to see how my grandma mom and how my grandma dad was living. I should have asked my grandma about that before she died. I really should have, like, really thought about a lot of shit before my mama and my grandma died. Like, just asked a whole bunch of questions, like, how it was when they was growing up and what did they go through and stuff, you know? Because you, you never think about asking those type of questions when they're living because you never fathom that they're going to be gone that early. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not early... But you just never fathom that you're going to lose someone that you truly love and care about. So you don't really take the time out to ask, you know, questions like that or take the time out to sit down and figure out that recipe that they always created that you love so much. You know what I'm saying? You just don't take the time out to do none of that, you know, because you never fathom that they're going to be gone. You know, you think that they're going to just live until you know just live but everybody has to die one day you know what i'm saying so before that point comes or before that time comes sit down ask questions you know like love on each other you know like be there for one another you feel me because you never know and it's like it's really crazy that you never know when somebody's time has come and god is ready for his children or his child to come home. You know, you just never know. So take that time and spend with your loved ones. Ask questions, you know. Just, you know, whatever you want to ask. Like, how was it when you was growing up? Like, how you make this recipe? You know, how what you put in this, you know? And I really wish I would have did more of that. And, you know. But, like I said, you just never fathom that you're going to lose someone that you love so much, you know. And that's why I kind of get mad when I don't talk to none of my family, my blood family. Because we don't even have a lot of us, honestly. It's me, my sister, I have two brothers, and then I have nephews and nieces and stuff like that. But I'm talking about as far, well, yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, because I talk to my nephews, like, sometimes on Snapchat and stuff like that. But as far, like as my sisters and my two brothers go like i wish that we was closer like none of us are really close at all like but i wish that we was closer um um 
because it's crazy. Like, I, I be thinking about them a lot. I miss them so much. I just wish I could talk to them and everything. But we just don't talk at all. Like, at all. And, like, I be getting really frustrated with that. Even though I be like, I don't care. But I really, deep down inside, I really do care. Because you never know when someone is going to go. When someone time is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be really pissed off. That if something ever happened to one of my people, I'm going to be really fucking pissed off. I really am. Because, like, none of us take the time out to, like, what well, I do anyways on my end. I take the time out to ask about how people are doing. Because they live in Nevada and in California. And that's, like, if you live in Texas and you know where Nevada is, you know it's so far as it's far. And, um... And I'll be pissed off because honestly, like, they're my world. I love them. Like I said, I talk to my nephews every now and again on Snapchat and stuff like that. As long as I'm talking to them and they're telling me, you know, everybody's good and stuff, that's fine. But I will just want to talk to my sisters and my brothers. But we don't talk like that, you know? And it's fucked up. It really is. <laughs> you know, because the one who was the glue that tried to hold everybody together was my grandmother and she passed and then my mom passed well my mom passed first then my grandmother you know and my grandmother was everyone where we went all the time you know to my grandma or to my mom you know or something like that and now that those are the only two really people that tried to hold everybody together i guess are gone so now, like, it's like, fuck it. Like, that's what it is. Like, when you lose that one person that holds everybody together, it's like, fuck it. Or like, fuck it. Like, that's what it is. Fuck it. You know? That's how it is. And I hate it like that. But one day, very soon one day, I will be going to Nevada and I will be visiting them and seeing them and everything like that. You know, just if it's for like a, a week or something, at least I'll have that memories that I went to go see them, visit them, got my pictures in, because y'all know I'm a picture freak. Got my pictures in, got my memory time in, got my loving, got my talking. You know what I'm saying? At least that can hold me over until I see them again eventually. You know what I'm saying? But one day, I will go and take that trip up to Nevada so I can visit my people. Because I missed them. You know. We was all in Texas at one time. And then everybody just went their separate ways. After my mom and grandma died. Um, everybody just went their separate ways. I moved to Texas. Um, my sister and them moved back to Nevada. Back to the hometown. That's where we were from. Nevada. Um. But we had moved to Louisiana when we were young, too. Not my sister, but that's a long-ass story. I'm not getting into that. But anyway, so after they died, they uh, everybody just went their separate ways. And I'm so proud of all my family who's doing good. My nephew, he rapping, doing what he doing. My other nephew, he looked like my younger nephew. He's the second youngest. He looked like he doing good. He in love. He got him a boot thing. You feel me? So I'm proud of him. Um, my other nephew and niece. Um, I haven't talked to them. You know, there's going to come a time where I go and visit. And I'm going to go visit real soon. Trust and believe that. Because I'll be damned if God tried to take any one of us before... We get that bonding time again, for real. So I'm gonna make try to make that happen ASAP. Now I feel like I'm the one that's trying to hold everybody together. You feel me? I feel like I'm the the trying to be the uh, glue to try to hold everybody together now. And if I have to be, I have to be, cause that's my people. I love them. You know, I want to be as close as my boyfriend is with his family. Like, they fam his family, they like this. 
you know, in my family, we like this. <laughs> we ain't like this. <laughs> but I love his family, too. They treat me like they own and everything, and I love them to death. But it ain't nothing like having your own family, you know what I say? Having your own family be, you know, close and, and shit, you know? Y'all, this was some bullshit. <laughs> I'm telling you, ain't no, oh, 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 oh my God, no, 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 ain't none of that. This was some regular ass noodles. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, they didn't put onions in here and shit. Ain't nothing spicy or hot about this shit. I can drink the juice right now. <laughs> that was some bullshit. And then look, it said right here, hot. <laughs> I know they fucking lying. <laughs> mm. Get y'all water in, y'all. Get y'all water in. Baby, water is so fucking good. Oh my God. The other day at work, I tasted some cold ass water from the water fountain. When I say it tasted like ice water, I was like, oh. that water was so fucking good. I love cold water that, I love cold, cold, cold water. It is so good. I like room temperature water too. I love water period. I really do. And I need to drink more water, you know, because you know when you're drinking a whole bunch of water when you go to the bathroom and you pee clear. <laughs> you pee clear. That's when you know you drink a lot of water. And water is so good for you guys. It helps you lose weight. It helps you stay glowing. So yeah, that was that, y'all. That shit was not even fucking hot or spicy, bitch. I wasted 86 cents. <laughs> I'm serious Cause I really thought this was gonna be some hot ass shit Like oh my god I need another bottle of water Or something but They might have some that are like actually hot But That shit was not hot at all boo boo At all period boo Anyway so I'm about to go I hope you guys enjoyed this video Like comment and subscribe to your girl You feel me I've been watching a lot of Malibu Dollface. I don't know if y'all know Malibu Dollface. Um, well, it's actually a him, but it's a she. And, like, she does, um, like, hair reviews and wig reviews, and I love her. And I got her on Snapchat, too. All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. You feel me? Boom. Mm. See y'all.